the, the Star Destroyer. Um, hello? My name's Lord of Flames, the one you got me for. Um, I'm the youth bird you've been taking from. Um, the one you've been wanting me to give you, the Space Outbreak, the series. The very good horror one. The one you want. I got it for you. Um, hello? Ah, good. What, what, what is that? Did you manage to make a movie of my story? What, what? Nee, nee, wait, what do you mean? Uh, why never be so kind to make my movie? Zombies, get him! <laughs> I can't believe that they bit me! In love! Those kind of freaks! The zombies are chasing me! <laughs> Am I the only survivor left in a ship? <laughs> anyway, folks, um, hey, Lord of Flames here, and, uh, okay, if you want me to calm down, then I will mind. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, Lord of Flames here, and mostly today we're going to review this book that is mostly canon to the Star Wars Sega, or the Skywalker Sega, called Death Troopers. It's mostly a zombie book. Mostly it's only got two books, that's mostly Death Troopers and the... The Seth Temple or something? I forgot what the other one's called if I had to look back, but I can't. I guess there's not much internet right here. It's because there are a lot of them over there around the hallway, but the zombies are blocking my way. Anyways, if I could try to remember a little bit since it's been only just 10 weeks for me to be here. Anyways, moving on. Let's get on with the review about the Death Troopers. That this book happened in 2009 since it was being released in October. Ever, ever since the trailer has been released, it's the only one time a trailer has been shown for the Death Troopers book. Mostly it's a live action one. Kinda like it. I make it scary. If Lucasfilm would have done something to make a Death Troopers movie for her zombies before it did, they might make things worse. To make steal that name for the Black Troopers. If they would have called that. I don't know. Anyways. Um it all happened back after the, the explosion of the first Death Star that I would like to call Death Star One if Everybody would call like that. <laughs> Anyways, um, after that have been, uh, Darth Vader was giving orders, like he gave orders to, to some work Imperial workers to use their own uh, star destroyer to explore to this planet who has these type of flowers or something. They're mostly the sickness they uh, they're going to test on to experiment to use for a biological weapon, and they might use it to win to against. The Republic or the Rebels to win. But you know how Imperials are when they always super attacking the experiment that gone a little bit too far to kill them. Like how you learn things back in the Resident Evil series that these scientists or the Umbrella Corp want to test things out, they never learn that it would kill them. Anyways, moving on. After the Star Destroyer went to that planet, after they experiment things, one of the gas leak, like they call it the Black Wing. Now, after the gas leak, like the one of the Black Wings uh, canyons or the one of the leaks has been fell out and tore and mostly kills everyone of the sickness and mostly kills them. And very soon, that Star Destroyer went down to space and never seen again. But soon, times later, like a month, uh, a, a mostly a pure prison ship. That's mostly called the Purge. Has been, has been uh, 
you know, you know, lost in space, and their own engine has been not working, and they found a random star destroyer that's the same one I was talking about, has been uh, found out of nowhere in space, and one of uh, small workers has been going up there to find to collect every single engine and every part to to fix there, so they could just move on and everything will be will be happy or anything else. But you know how prisons are exactly. But anyways, after they went in, we all know what what it's like to go into an abandoned ship with dead bodies and lost in space. You know what that will be like for horror stuff. So yeah, after they went in, after the sickness has spread around their own ship, like it's some type of gas leak thing, like how you learn things, these type of gas, smoke things spread around, they're still spreading inside. Until you open it, they spread around and killed your own people, and you're dead. And it will happen. Why can't you learn things from this game called Man's of Medan, or something like The Man of Medan. Up to this kind of ship with some gas leak stuff. Anyways, after some some people have died in their own purge ship, a few survivors are mostly alive because they're immune by this gas leak, this black wing. Not sure how. But the the offer wants that way to get these main characters alive to escape to see how horrors will be like for this book. Anyways, there's only two brothers. One's little, one is older. I forgot their names since I've been listening to audiobook a lot on YouTube before it was been deleted by copyright. Anyways, um, they've been uh, they've been got out of the cells and it was opened by one of their pals. Who's mostly tried to help them for once, but dies from the gap from the black green infection, and they mostly got out of there. But they soon met up with a, a, a female doctor, well, a female nurse, and with the even they meet up with Han Solo and Chewbacca, and yes, Han Solo and Chewbacca are in this story. Mm, it's really really good having some familiar, awesome, popular characters in this story to make things. Awesome. If the film, if the book was been released so years ago, if they would have done something a little bit back in the films, it's Han Solo explaining things about his story with Chewbacca to this purge ship and the Star Destroyer being being chased by some zombies. Anyways, um, after they all met up, they all heard some noises back in those hallways. It's mostly the dead people who are mostly alive, but not mostly alive. They're the undead. Dead zombies, yeah! And with their crazy screaming, moaning sounds that mostly scare will give you nightmares forever. Anyways, they've been chased a lot by the zombies, but they managed to get up to the Star Destroyer and lock the purge door, and they will never come out. Well, at least they might use all their zombie strength to push down the door or something, because they don't care about pain. Their rage or something like how the flood will be like. Because they don't give up about pain or anything. They just want to fast, infest. They're hungry because they're zombies. Anyways, while th now they're in, in the sword story, but one of the survivors has a big brother who's got been infected, being bitten by a leg by his dead father after he was been uh, shot by an Imperial uh, officer. That he's still in, still around in the Star Destroyer, but he got out of the purge, of course, by uh, a ship uh, tripod. But he got been uh, uh, captured by the Star Destroyer by those um, I forgot what they call, but it it caught one of those tripods with him in it, and it brought him inside the Star Destroyer, and that's when the nightmare begins again. Good. There ain't because purge ship and only has a few a little bit bodies of zombies. But in Star Destroyer, you don't know how many there will be in that ship. Probably millions. Billions, perhaps. Because that would be a crazy, like how you see the movie called War War Z. It's like that. Anyways, moving on. After they, they mostly split up with the female doctor and the big brother staying because she got to help him through his, his bitten leg, of course. Anyways. While they, they mostly split up between uh, three people went to the to some places to find the top level to communicate if it still works. 
and while two are still being still a little bit close to the purge hallway door because one of them was bitten that the female doctor had to help this big brother from uh, curing him or something like that to find a way to stop the infection but it's, it's really hard to get rid of the infection right anyways uh while Han Solo and Chewbacca and his little brother are walking around the hallway, they always been and now they're being chased a lot by a lot of zombies around the vans, the hallways, doors, anything. But they still survive. But sometimes they have to split up with one and two. Anyways, back with the female doctor and the big brother. I mostly forgot their names. No way, it was Trig. That's the big brother's name, Trig. Anyways, um. Uh, they mostly heard the noises of zombies coming, trying to get out of the purge ship to eat them. Because that's how zombies, again, that's how they are. Now, they got Trick, turned him to a zombie, not being eaten by torn up and eaten, just make him to a zombie. That's mostly confusing. Because he, he first got been killed by a gunshot, because zombies, these type of zombies are now learning they begin to learn they're going to have their own schools. <laughs> now they shoot and, and yes, because clone troopers or stormtroopers might still have those type of brains in them to be smart if they still work for zombies. Now begin to shoot and they kill Treg right in the half of his face as like a moon hole thing or something like that. Or a half moon. Anyways, the female doctor left him and escape. And then he turned to a zombie, and then he'll meet up with his little brother to, to eat him. <laughs> yeah, that'll be difficult. Anyways, um, back with Han Solo Chewbacca. No, wait, we have to got to get back to the that Imperial officer, what happened to him. Well, he was still in that Star Destroyer with them. Well, they're all far away from each other, but he's got been trapped a lot of zombies. But he found a random ship, as mostly with some few survivors who've been left there who've been left alive for 10 weeks and without any food or drinks or anything because you don't know what you might look like when you've been trapped in a ship with no food or drinks with 10 weeks because that would be difficult okay you might look like yourself like a skeleton or whatnot after a flesh or anything but they explain their own stories to him about they've been trapped there for 10 weeks after your affection have been leaked because there's some random accident happened. Because scientists made so many big mistakes, do they? Anyways, that they have been trying to stay alive by eating their own one of their teammates to stay alive. Like how zombies were, like how Imperial Officer would say, would not like them. Of course not. It's only for a sacrifice. For your victory of the Empire. Not be. And then the Imperial Officer say, what is that? And he, our guy said, No, Peter. A paralytic. You just go to sleep. When we will rescue, the Emperor will know this of your sacrifice for the highest of honors. They were trying to kill him to eat him next, since it's only been like a week or one week later or something, ten weeks after they eat a few of their buddies. But then the zombies managed to blast the door and the APR officer who managed to, to stop these bad guys who almost tried to eat him because crazy people and then he froze them right to the zombies while they have been eaten but he he didn't he was almost about to kill one more but he, it was a kid for some reason a kid working in the pure in the pure empire or something like that and then he lets him live and makes him to go find somewhere safe somewhere to uh, take care of this ship no way he was trying to make him uh, go to some place to be safe and find something to communicate or something while he he's doing it his own business to find the ship again for him to escape but then he still remembered things about his path about his father abusing him or something like that but left him and it makes him just wait for him to join to the Empire or anything reasons and then he found ship but then he noticed he was been bitten after he was running every single zombie right past him Anyways, back with the other characters with Han Solo and Chewbacca and the little brother of Trick's little brother. Uh, they both split up. Han, Ch Han Solo and Chewbacca went to the to the top level of the Star Destroyer to communicate or something to try to use the ship to move. 
and while the little brother who was been staying behind but then he noticed something behind him that was his brother Trey but he didn't know it was his, he was a zombie yeah zombie mm, infection can turn them to a zombie of course we all know that anyways um um, anyways, that he follows him to a doom for his own death trap. But then, something noticed when the locked door happened. He went to a van, trying to escape the zombie that he didn't know is that was his brother. Because it was wearing like a, like a half-destroying stormtrooper helmet. But then, uh, while he tried to cross through every single van to different directions. The zombie tray got him, but didn't eat him yet, but still trying. But then the helmet reveals that it was Treg all along, but as a zombie. But Tra the Treg's little brother is trying not to stop, trying not to kill him or fight him. He's trying to make him stop. But you can't even try to make these people are now zombies. Can't They can't listen to you. They're no longer there. Not their souls or anything. Just zombies. They don't give a crap for listening. Anyways. Um... Back with Han Solo and Chewbacca, they managed to uh, get to the communication level, but then they found a uh, one little uh, root, a little Wookiee. I guess that that's those creatures' names. Uh, they found a little one with his dead family are now zombies. They Han Solo killed them, even the little one because he's angry, pissed off for why you had to kill his family. Anyway, he, that little one's dead. That's really sad. But now, uh, they left the communication level and going to find, uh, uh, that little brother. That little boy who, who was behind to split up. But then he was been shot by his brother, but he looked, he pushed him right off to a hole, right to the edge of darkness and never seen it again. But then there are a lot of zombies behind him or probably somewhere around the vents or trying to kill, going to eat him. They're really close. But then Han Solo it tried to Han Solo Chewbacca tried to help him, but it was too late. He let go and fell off. But I told it was Shiv who caught him right inside and saved him. But who was the one inside? It was that Imperial officer I was mentioned. And they got out there and they got Han Solo Chewbacca in and they tried and they managed to escape. But uh, they mentioned about the female doctor who was alive. But mostly, what happened to the to that female doctor who managed to escape from the zombies? Well, anyways, let's go on with her as well, so we don't want to forget about her. She went to a hallway that leads to a laboratory she found, and inside the laboratory is filled with these type of gears or canyon stuff built with black wings. And she discovered what those black wings are exactly. They're the infection that creates you a zombie. She found like, two tubes. With dead bodies who are mostly alive as zombies. Yeah, she been attacked. She almost been attacked by a scientist doctor that who was mostly a zombie, but got been killed by a robot. And then she managed. She thinks about that robot who almost represented our doc, our robot she mentioned, who is mostly a friend or a lovable robot. Ooh ooh ooh. Anyways, um, she managed to uh. While time passed, but there was like a blast coming from the laboratory by some random ship fire. Um, we thought she was dead, but no. She managed to escape, but that little boy that her officer saved just died from it. Because she was trying to save the female doctor to get out too. So, anyways, uh, who knows what happened to her, how she managed to get out of there. Probably elevator to the top level of the Star Destroyer. Same for the same for Han Solo, Chewbacca, and the little brother. They managed to get out, but the Imperial officer sacrificed himself because he was mostly bitten, and then he killed himself from falling off. And who knows if he managed to survive from that fall, or he will mostly broke out, broken legs, and still being eaten and turned to a zombie. Anyways, moving on. They managed to get out that 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 started the story but they're going up to the very top and they uh they found another two survivors alive because they still look a bit like almost about to be dead like skeletons anyways they got them out too but they found those are zombies are meant to get out there with their own ships but sometimes past when they uh boost up and 
and Hong Song was always a punch it. Anyway, they met together, but they found those tripods or those other shit with zombies in are mostly dead for some reason because they couldn't go that by far. They couldn't go that far in around the galaxy. They mostly died while the the infection black wing just spread coming out of their mouth or anything and just spread around the ship or something or dies or something. Not sure. Anyways, and now the, they the, now the two those are two survivors I mentioned. They got been killed by one zombie who managed to got in for no reason. Maybe they wanted to do one more horror stuff before it comes to an end. And then that zombie got been killed by a female doctor who managed to got got in for no reason how. And they. To live happily ever after, but they all split up once again while Hanzo and Chewbacca continued their own story to get to the Empire Strikes Back movie. And while the little brother went with the female doctor, and who knows what it'll be like in the future without zombies. Anyways, folks, that's it all for the review. And uh, <laughs> uh, uh I think I'm not very so good at all, folks. Uh, I'm mostly being uh. Turn very soon because mentioned I know about the book or any uh, studies I learned from these uh, infections. Uh, once you get bitten, you're mostly being turned to a zombie. So uh, I'm going to uh, going to stay here in this room, not being eaten, because I'll be a torturess. So I'll just um, lay myself here and uh, mostly just. Going to uh, say goodbye to this review video to you all, and who knows if recording will be found by any survivors or some people who found this recording, and who knows they might survive from their own terrorist attack by zombies, uh, and who knows uh, uh, manage if there will be other movie taking place in the random galaxy or some random spaceship being lost around with zombies, random few survivors. That'll be something if Lucasfilm would have done that. Anyways, folks, this will be the end of my recording. Uh, happy Halloween, and I will never see you if you will see me as a zombie! Yay!